Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our Dex versus SQL series and in this video uh, we would like to uh, do percentage of subtotal. Uh, in last video we have taken how we can do percentage of total. In this video we would like to have how can we get percentage of subtotal. So let's look at the SQL first. So what we wanted to do here is uh, state wise we want to find out how much a city contributes. So now what we need for that. So first of all we need city and state wise data and we need to have grouped quantity available for that. So this is the first thing. Now, because uh, city name and state name are available in geography table, so we need to join it with geography table. So this is our join. Uh, for We are joining and we are saying on city ID, equal to city ID and then we are grouping. So this inner query is going to give us data which is city at state level. Now outside this when we come out. Now this is where we are again using over but we are using it with partition by state, okay. And so this is what, what it is going to do. It's actually going to create a total at the state level. So each state will have its own total. And this is percentage of total from last time we have used over. Now here uh, in the case of percentage of subtotal, we are saying uh, says which is actually already grouped at city and state level and we are saying over and partition by state means we are trying to create a subtotal out here. Uh, and we are multiplying by 100 to make it as a percentage, okay? Now here uh, what we have done is uh, once we execute this, you can see that this percentage of total I kept it so that you can observe the difference here. Now here we have actually uh, done this sorting 2 comma 1 for the same reason that you know all the same state can come together. So same state is coming together and then you can see the city is out here. Now 9%, 16%, 11%, 17%, 17%, 17% something like that. So these numbers you are getting now. Uh, this is uh, what we are getting in SQL. So we have taken an inner query. And in the outer query, we have used sum over and partition by we have used this time, and which is going to create a partition or basically using that partition going to create a subtotal for us at the state level. Now in the DAX. Now in case of DAX, we have all except for that. Now if we use all except, uh, we actually are going to have the filter of that particular stuff and rest of the filters will get ignored. Uh, but uh, this is not going to work the same way we were working previously and I'm going to show you the moment you look at this one and then you start seeing this ST is 100 now. In case of summarize, uh, all do works but all except and most of the places where the whole context is pretty important, what we uh, see is that uh, summarize does not work well. So now how to get, uh, uh, you know, in such cases, how do we get out? Uh, the subtotal or all except so what we are going to do is we are going to use this add column now this add column what it does is it's add additional column on top of um, the table which is coming out so existing column remains there and we have seen in the past in the one of the videos that we have used this add column to get additional column now what we are going to do we are going to use this add columns on top of summarize so in the summarize we are taking sales we are taking geography and state now here remember that we wanted it from geography table and because they are joined in our uh, Power BI model. So we are simply calling state and city from geography uh, and then we are taking the sales uh, sum of uh, quantity and then grand total we know it works and inside summarize so we are taking it but then once the summarize is over we are write, writing down this subtotal formula which is uh, percentage uh, which is subtotal basically all except geography and geography state that's what we are doing out here. Okay so we are taking geography geography states and uh, the, uh, so this add column will be able to pick that up and then we have taken one more summarize outside and then we say city, state and sales, grand total and subtotal and then percentage of sub, percentage of total, percentage of subtotal, all we have calculated in the, inside this summarize and now we are trying to evaluate. Now percentage of subtotal, it just basically once we got this subtotal then we are, we are simply dividing it and multiplying by 100 and then again we have done order by this thing so that we can actually get into a similar kind of result. Let's execute this one. And are we getting this? Yes, we. you remember we have an, this 9%, 16% and this 11% and 17, 17%. Let's go back and look and validate once more. So 9%, 16%, 11%, 17%, 17%, 17%, 17% we are getting it. Now how we are going to do it in Power BI? So Power BI as usual we are doing, we are creating some majors. So here what I have done is, I, first of all I have created this subtotal. Now to create this uh, sub M, uh, so what I have done, sum. And this all accept now because I'm not going to use it inside the summarize I'm going to direct use directly into the visual table so I have actually used uh, directly as uh, all accept and this and created it as a major so I can directly use it in the visual table now 
and then same way we have created percentage of subtotal now percentage of subtotal what we have done is simply we have taken the sales m which is available already with us and then some uh, subtotal we have taken and divided it now here what we have done one more thing is we have marked this as a percentage column so that's why we are not multiplying it by 100 so now we are done with this we have put it into this visual and you can see now the similar kind of results we are getting out here also so in power bi we just created the majors and put it into the visual table we have not went ahead created those summarize and created new tables we just created set of majors and put it into the visual so this is how you create percentage of subtotal so you have a level uh, like state where you want this percentage of subtotal so you identify that partition and that that partition you need a sum uh, and then based on that you keep on uh, dividing uh, by the actual low row values and then you are getting it so you have seen how to do it in sql how to do it in dax and power bi how we can manage it with some majors uh, let us know what else you want to see uh, subscribe to this channel so that uh, you get uh, whatever new video we are uh, posting you will uh, you will be knowing about that you can press bell icon to get notifications uh, thanks for watching thank you